Jesse Mitchell was born in Leeds, Maine. On Christmas Eve in 1810 he married on September 12, 1840 in Leeds, Maine to Elvira Knapp. She was the daughter of Joseph Knapp Esquire who was a lawyer, teacher, selectman of Kingfield, Maine. He was a member of the first legislature of the state of Maine and one of the framers of Maine's constitution in 1819. She was also elder sister to the Honourable Judge Cyrus Snap of Livermore Falls, Maine. Jesse lived in Leeds near where the Leeds Central School is now when all his children were born. He owned Lot Hash 47 which he bought from his father Thomas in 1834 for $580. Moved to Lettery Plantation between 1850 and 1860. They lived in Lettery near the schoolhouse, next to James Mitchell and Benjamin Chick. Ben Chick's son would marry Jesse's daughter Clara and James Mitchell's son Moses would marry Elvira Knapp's sister Jane Knapp. She would be fondly remembered in Kingfield as and Jane. Mary Mitchell, daughter of Moses and Jane, would marry Solomon Liberty Stanley Jr a brother to the famous Stanley twins who made the Stanley steamer. Jesse Mitchell died in 1871 in Lettery and Elvira in 1877 they are both buried in the Madrid Village Cemetery. Their children were Charles Henry Mitchell, Joseph Knapp Mitchell, George Bates Mitchell, James Warren Mitchell and Clara Mitchell. Jesse Mitchell's father Thomas Mitchell was born 1772 in Bath, Me. Died April the 11th. 1849 and leads me. He was the son of William Mitchell of Bath. His mother's name is unknown. He married 1. Mary Lamont August III, 1794 in Bath, Me. She was born 1777 in Bath, Me. And died April 5, 1860 and leads me. History refers to her as she was called a woman of superior qualities. She was the daughter of Captain James Lamont who defended the sea coating the American Revolution and Mary Hunter. Captain L.E.M.O.N.T.S. father John Lamont built the first ships in Bath at New Meadows River in West Bath. He served in the War of 1812. He was a boot and shoemaker a court wainer. Also a merchant dealing in West India goods. At the request of his brother Joseph he sold his business in Bath and moved to Leeds where he built the second sawmill in town and the first in the section. It was where Coffin's Mills is now, you can still see the dam. He was in business with Elias and Peter Lane. His first home in Leeds burned and he built another in 1812. Coffin's Mills is at the foot of Quaker Ridge. He was called Yeoman which is an Englishman of families considered well-bred but not of the nobility. He moved to Leeds in 1800 from Bath. It should also be noted that when he sold in Bath the deed was witnessed by James Mills Mitchell his uncle. He and his brother Joseph bought land from Jonathan Davis in Bath, Maine in 1793. John Mitchell who was the third settler of Chesterville, W.H.O.S. son settled in Fay. It was his cousin slash Josiah Mitchell of Redfield High Sheriff of Kennebec was his uncle slash the Hinckley of Leeds and Turner and Berry families of Leeds and Wayne were his cousins. Here in Maine, where land ownership was and is high you almost always will find a man with his family, in the same area especially back in the day. Slash people didn't get around like they do now. Usually you will find people move to a new place because a family member had a job or a bride for him. Or went together because of a job or land opportunity. You will see this through the history of the great towns in the state of Maine. You will read in many of our town and county histories how towns were first settled by men with their brother-in-laws or their cousins or their uncles or their sons or father-in-law etc. Or the same combinations of men will settle in neighbouring towns or timelines will change and put family members in different towns. Here is a copy of a letter his granddaughter wrote. Keen S. Mills Turner May 31913 Dear Nice Lizzie I have included what I have heard said of our people. My great grandfather, William Mitchell, and two brothers and one sister of Mrs. Berry came to South Bath, took up a large tract of land and settled on it. Slash Washington called for more soldiers to get her independence from the British. Grandfather, William Mitchell, took ship with a lot of others to service as soldiers. The ship was never heard from or no one aboard. A terrible hurricane was suspected by others. Grandmother put out her three boys and one girl. Scotch-Irish descent. William, Thomas, Joseph. 
Hannah. My grandfather Thomas Mitchell was put out to learn the shoemaker's trade to his uncle Berry, and settled in Bath me, and married Mary Lamont, daughter of Capt. James Lamont of Bath, a Capt. In the Revolution, they lived in Bath on the now the city, had a house, shoe shop, and West India goods to sell, done fine. His brother Joseph had settled and Leeds persuaded him to sell out and buy a lot of land next to him. With water privilege and put up a sawmill, he sold out for $1,212. He got finally underway when his homestead, Leeds, was burned. He put up another but grandmother was always homesick after the tarp times came on. 1,812 war grandfather belonged to the militia co. Had to go, after it was about to they took my father 1717 as substitute and Uncle William was musician four years in army. Grandmother, grandfather had eleven children, four in Bath, two died there. Seven more in Leeds, William, James Warren Lamont, Bath born 1796, died 1894, two more boys died young. Then Betsy married Joshua Willamont, Thomas, Jesse, Benjamin, Mary married William Carr of NH. My father married Julia Gilbert 1817, she died 31. Daughter capped. William Gilbert and Betsy Bailey. Second wife of JWL, Rebecca Foster of Buffield died 1889. His children Ellen Lamont born 1831 died 1896. Clara 1823. Henry Gilbert born 1825. Julia. James Everett born 1837 died 1840. Your father must know what year Everett died. By Clara M. Crockett Turner Main. It is easy to see who she's talking about as it can be no other people Thomas Mitchell's father being William son of Christopher and the two brothers in Bath are James Mills Mitchell and Jonathan Mitchell the sister of Mrs. Berry is Rhoda Mitchell who married John Berry all lived in Bath. A perfect fit. Also Joseph Mitchell of Leeds named a son John Berry Mitchell and a daughter Rhoda Berry Mitchell also both Thomas and Joseph named a son David Berry Mitchell. It should also be noted that when Thomas Mitchell sold in Bath the deed was witnessed by James Mills Mitchell who would be his uncle. And that James Mills Mitchell's granddaughter Hannah L. Mitchell married David Berry Mitchell son of Joseph Mitchell of Leeds also that Thomas, Joseph, and James Mills Mitchell owned a church pew together in Bath also a Thomas Mitchell married Mary Lamont and her uncle Thomas Lamont was married to Lucy Mitchell, the daughter of Christopher Mitchell, and so would be an and to Thomas Mitchell of Leeds this is more than just coincidence. Coffin's Mill was the second mill to be built in the town of Leeds. The mill was originally erected on land owned by Thomas Mitchell. The mill ran successfully until 1812 when an embargo was placed upon shipping from U.S. ports. This proved disastrous to Maine's lumber trade and Thomas Mitchell, whose plan was to transport lumber to Halliwell and load it aboard schooners, was forced to sell his property. In the War of 1812, the United States took on the greatest naval power in the world, Great Britain, in a conflict that would have an immense impact on the young country's future. Causes of the war included British attempts to restrict U.S. trade, the Royal Navy's impressment of American seamen and America's desire to expand its territory. The United States suffered many costly defeats at the hands of British, Canadian and Native American troops over the course of the War of 1812, including the capture and burning of the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., in August 1814. Nonetheless, American troops were able to repulse British invasions in New York, Baltimore and New Orleans boosting national confidence and fostering a new spirit of patriotism. The ratification of the Treaty of Ghent on February 17, 1815, ended the war but left many of the most contentious questions unresolved. Nonetheless, many in the United States celebrated the War of 1812 as a second war of independence, beginning an era of partisan agreement and national pride. Thomas Mitchell served in War of 1812 as well as did his sons William a Blacksmith in Leeds and James W. L. Mitchell who was postmaster at Curtis Corner. His brother Joseph Mitchell who was a housewright also served. Joseph was the father of millionaire Benjamin Franklin Mitchell of Wilmington, N.C., 
His mansion can be toured to this day in historic Lil Mington.